so I don't know if this is gonna be a part of a vlog or not, but I um, found a lump in my breast on the left side and I am at the doctor's right now getting it looked at. I'm getting ready to put this on. I'm nervous. <laughs> my lady just told me that she won't be able to um, give me a mammogram because I am under 30 unless they find something in my ultrasound or um, I have a family history of it, which I don't, but a family history of the C word, which I don't, but um, not that I don't know of anyways. Let's put this gown on. So I just wanted to come on here and say a few things. Y'all, I was extremely nervous because I really did not know what to expect. And I was still trying to be as transparent as possible with this. But this is just me showing that you have to take everything off. This part, I'm showing you all myself putting everything inside of a plastic bag, in which I received when I arrived. I also got my gown at the same time. But yeah, y'all, I'm feeling extremely nervous. And back to the vlog. All right, y'all. So now I'm sitting here waiting for the lady to come back and get me to... Um, do the ultrasound of my breast. Um, do you have a pacemaker? Um, any sisters? Does your mom have any sisters? And does your dad have any sisters? Have you ever had any surgery on your uterus or ovaries? Any surgeries on your breast? Any history of any types of cancer? On you, has anybody in your family had breast cancer? Any other types of cancer in your family? And have you ever taken birth control pills? And did you feel an area and call your doctor? So I wasn't sure if I was doing it right. Okay. So at first I didn't mention it to her, but then she did like an exam on me and she felt it. So I told her, well, I felt it too. I just wasn't sure. Okay. And she felt the same spot. Has it changed in size that you've noticed? No. no. Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Any nipple discharge? How does it feel to you? Does it feel hard? Does it feel like, is it kind of something that you can push on where it feels um, kind of spongy or? Mm. To me, it feels kind of like tissue. Okay. It's like in a cluster. If you could compare the size of it to like an almond, a peach, a cherry, um, how big do you think it would be? Maybe a two almonds. Okay. Side by side. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. Here, lying back, just take your left arm out of your sleeve. And then I'll take the ultrasound. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures. Okay. Then I'll have you stay in here. I'll step out. I'll talk to the radiologist, um, see what she says, and then I'll come back in and let you know what she says about follow-up or if there's anything that you, need, that you need to be concerned about. Okay, y'all, so now I'm waiting to see the actual doctor. That was just the lady that was doing the ultrasound, as y'all can see. That's the machine she used. These are all the little things that she was rubbing. And I got to use a new machine. But it's pretty cool. This cream that they use is kind of like, ladies, if you have ever had anything going on with your cervix or um, if you've ever had a baby and they give you ultrasound, it's the same type of situation. It's very, very similar. So I'm about to put my stuff back on and wait for the doctor, y'all. And I don't know if I can record what she'll be saying, but I'm gonna try my best to. But I just wanted to document this because this is my first time ever doing this. And I'm a train wreck right now, even though it doesn't look like it. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, real quick, she had to come back and do a second ultrasound look under my armpits and stuff so now i'm waiting on the doctor to tell me what's going on i'm gonna try to record y'all without her noticing but it's not a promise i may have to just come back and tell y'all what happens um the good thing is i will know what's going on um before i leave today and no mammogram we only doing the ultrasound today 
hopefully fingers crossed no bad news but yeah we prayed about this already so i'll pick y'all back up in a minute there's a small lump in the breast and i'm not exactly sure what it is so i want to recommend an ultrasound guided biopsy of the area so you'll be laying on your back with your left arm up over your head the doctor would come in repeat the ultrasound clean the breast give you some numbing medicine at the skin and a little bit deeper, make a tiny cut in the skin, slip a biopsy needle and take a few samples. And when they're done, they leave a little marker to mark the area that was biopsy. Biopsy the one area in the breast, see what it comes back. And if it comes back benign, then you're pretty much done. But if there's anything concerning, we can always revisit it, okay? So the next step is he's gonna give you an appointment to have this biopsy. This is an outpatient procedure. You're not okay. gonna have any kind of anesthesia for this. If needed, you could even drive yourself, have this done and then drive yourself back home. Y'all, I had to go in the bathroom and wash my armpits and stuff. And that jelly that they put on you, yeah, I had to wash that stuff off. I had came with a soap towel, dry towel deodorant some more stuff okay i don't play about it but um i'm like listening to some opera okay y'all in the car the verdict is this was not supposed to be a vlog day but i decided that i wanted to vlog this okay um y'all don't really know my age i never talk about my age but i'm 29 um I'll be 30 this year. This is a big year for me. Y'all know we turn every 10 years is a milestone. Um, so finding a lump in your breast, women, yeah, it's, it's so surreal. It's like, it's really hard to tell you how I feel. You just hope for the best, honestly. You just hope that it's not, you know, cancerous or, you know, you just start thinking the worst, honestly. I'm trying my best not to because y'all know I always you know talk about being positive on my channel um but i just wanted to document this whole little experience for anybody that um is afraid to go and get a checkup no matter how old you are if you know that something is wrong you know your body go get it checked out okay even if you don't have medical coverage y'all just worry about the bill later um Go get yourself checked out. Do those self-breast examinations. Like, you know, you can find them here on YouTube. You can talk to your doctor about how to do them. Your gynecologist can tell you. Your um, family doctor can tell you. Do a self-examination on your breast. They can tell you how to do it. It's not really hard. But take your health serious. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I take my health very serious. Um, but it's kind of hard to know what's going on with you on the inside when you don't go and keep up with that portion of your, you know, of your self-care. So I'm saying all this to say just, you know, I'm afraid y'all, but I created this platform to be very transparent about the stuff that I do in my everyday life. Um, and you know, I guess I didn't even know that, that I <laughs> would be doing this or saying this, but you know, just to be, uh, influence of somebody else or to bring awareness to anybody about anything that I'm personally going through I'm only gonna talk about but so much but I, I know that the breast thing situation breast cancer a serious matter like and a lot of women don't are afraid to go and get it checked out if you if you um find something as well as cervical cancer that's another thing that we do not talk about um but yeah no matter how old you are if you feel something, don't let them tell you that you too young to get it checked out. They told me I was too young to get a mammogram, but today I made sure that I still wanted to, I want to know what's going on with me on the inside. Um, and I made sure that I told my doctor, my gynecologist that, and she was the one who sent me to get my breast checked. Um, so to any young girl out there or any, anybody, any person that's a woman, if you are a lady, take it serious. Okay. Take it very, very serious. Um, because Finding out early what's going on with stuff like this could could really save your life, you know. So the results of my stuff today, y'all. Basically, um, 
I had to get two ultrasounds basically. My lump was found on the left breast. Um, so that is the breast where they examined. I typically don't like to examine both breasts if, if you know, both of them did not have a lump. So they focus more on the breast that has the lump. And she came, she did my um, examination with the ultrasound machine that I showed y'all. She came, talked to the doctor. She came back. The doctor said that she needed some more in-depth photos of what's going on there on, on the left side of my breast. So I had to, first I was in a position where I was laying like on my right side, like towards her, like this. My arm over my head so that she could get, you know, see what she needed to see. And your doctor normally tells the person who's gonna be examining you, it's all in your chart onto where they found the lump at. They kind of use the time like a uh, lump found in left breast at five o'clock or six o'clock or, you know, that's how kind of how they communicate it. And they ask you, where do you feel like it's at? You know, just because if you feel pain anywhere, they want to take that out too. So when she went, she came back the second time, she told me there was the side that I felt like where the pain was. So sometimes I have pain on the same the same breast, um, a tenderness, not not so much pain. She told me there was nothing that they were concerned about. But where the doctor had, the, my original doctor had said that where my lump was at is um, where she wanted to redo another ultrasound. At. So the first time, like I told you, I was sideways. The second time she had me lay on my back and um, check more in depth, like above my, up here, on the underneath, towards my heart, um, like the whole entire breast, not just where the doctor said it was at or where I thought it would have been. And she also had me lay completely on my side with my arm straight over my head so that she can check my, I think it's called lymph, lymph notes. I'm gonna put it across the screen if I'm messing up the word. She checked my lymph notes underneath my armpits um, because if they are swollen, that's another sign that something is not right um, with your breast. Y'all don't know the real, all the technical words. I just kind of wanted, like I told y'all, just to share what I just went through. Um, so yeah, she she checked that. She put the cream that I told showed y'all. She put all the little nasty stuff underneath my armpit, and you know did an ultrasound of my armpit. The doctor basically said the lymph nodes underneath your arm was um, a little enlarged, but they want to do a biopsy of the lump in my breast first, check on that, and if everything is like benign or everything is benign basically just means like nothing is wrong there like there's nothing to be worried about um if it's if that is the conclusion then they won't worry about my lymph nodes it's just like i will have to you know every so often get them checked and blah 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 so that's the update so this month at the end of the month i gotta go and get a biopsy and uh Y'all, I have never had any type of major surgery. I've had my wisdom teeth pulled. I've had stitches in two places in my entire body. I've never broken a bone or anything like that. I've never been under anesthesia or anything like that. But so this is a little scary, even though it's a very small incision that they put in your breast. They just get a piece of tissue from the lump. That's all they're doing. And then they're gonna basically um, test it to make sure that it's not cancerous. And if it's not, then you know, whatever if it is cancerous then there is further actions that i need to take so let's get off while i get emotional because i'm not gonna cry on this damn camera and that's it what's up y'all um so i know y'all just seen the clips before of me letting you know sorry i'm going down a very bumpy ramp um, but I know I just seen the clip about me talking about everything. That was a totally different day. Today is March the 9th. It is 8.25 right now. I am on my way to um, like a pre-op consultation like um, 
basically an appointment to prepare me for what's going to happen on the 22nd of this month when I go and get my biopsy outpatient surgery um, to figure out what the lump in my chest is, um, you know, what's going on with it or, you know, is it anything or is it just tissue, whatever the case may be. So I'm on my way to my appointment. How am I feeling right now? Okay, because I am documenting this. this. I don't know if this is going to be like inside of a video or is it going to be its own separate video i'm sure i probably said this but y'all forgive me if i'm repeating myself this is like days later and also i'm nervous as hell about this i don't know what to expect you know um so yeah how i'm feeling about this right now y'all like i just said i'm nervous um it's a little bit scary it's a little bit nerve-wracking because it's like a waiting game not only do I have to wait for the, the day to, to get the actual surgery so, so they can get the a piece of, you know, the lump so that they can figure out what's going on with it. Um, I also have to wait after that to figure out what it actually is. So it's a, like, it's a whole little process. Even though I go on the 22nd to get the biopsy, I will not know until days later about what they found from it, like the results of it. Um, so yeah i'm i'm a little nervous y'all I'm, I'm very nervous i'm not a little nervous i'm very nervous um but you know i have a lot of faith um but i'm also human you know i'm not gonna sit up here and just say not to say that i'm not thinking positive but to still be realistic it's scary very scary very very scary especially you don't it's like you can't look inside your body your own body and say oh i know what this is i know I, i'm it's fine or i had this happen before so maybe i can kind of know what's going on it's completely different from anything i've ever done before as far as my health goes so it's very scary so but um i have lots of faith like i was getting ready to say and i just believe in god y'all you know even if even if i don't get the results when the results come back, even if I don't get the results that I believe that I will, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know, maybe if I get a, a, a bad or negative um, result that I don't want to really get, maybe this is God's way of allowing me to be like an advocate for people, especially young, my generation, because my generation, um, of you know like the nine the 90s kids we don't really do we go like women we go to the doctor you know to get your private parts checked the regular old regular regular you know and if you need to go to the doctor if something is wrong with you but we don't do the stuff that's supposed to be you're supposed to get according to your age and you know what i'm saying the different stages of your life um, and especially something like this we be scared to do stuff like this so i feel like maybe god is giving me this giving me this moment to kind of be to get my testimony in to be an advocate for people that's my age and that may be scared so getting ready to pull up i will if i can't record this lady um telling me what to do and what to expect or whatever because that's what this appointment is about um and not not just for y'all but for myself to like reference so yeah let me hurry and get in here, y'all, because like I told y'all, I am running late. I'm 10 minutes late, and they already just said if you more than 15 minutes late, they will cancel your appointment. So let me hurry up. I will pick y'all up a little bit later. Peace out. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the back. I just got all my vitals and stuff done. I didn't know I was going to have to um, take my shirt and stuff off, So, um, but I'm getting ready to talk to the nurse practitioner. She's going to tell me what to expect. Also, she's going to... Um, check the spot that they would be biopsied and yeah i wasn't expecting to be undressing but it's okay nevertheless um i guess it's a part of the process and yeah i mean this guy so um so it looks like maybe you felt something in your breast is that correct yes so what happened was mm -hmm. i wasn't really sure mm -hmm. um because of course i always do the self-examination yeah. yeah. and you know, I, I told her, but I wasn't really sure. So she was, I thought it was this side. Uh -huh. And then she was like, no, it's over here. Uh-huh. So, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you feel what they're talking about in your left breast? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. Anyone with ovarian or uterine or colon cancer in your no. family? And then anyone with pancreatic?
metastatic or prostate cancer in your family? Not that I know of, no. Good. Otherwise, you're healthy, not really on any medications. Are you experiencing any new headaches or no. unexplained weight loss? No. Cough, asthma, wheezing, shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Changes in your bowel habits, new constipation, diarrhea, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You sleep okay at night? Mm -hmm. All right, so they want you to get an ultrasound guided biopsy of this mass that's in your left breast. It's in the outer aspect of your left breast. So they're going to so only biopsy the mass. In my breast. <clears throat> in your breast. Mm -hmm. And if this is benign, then they just want you to come back in six months and look at that lymph node again. Okay. If this is cancer, they're going to end up having you come back to do a biopsy of the lymph node in your armpit. Why is that? Because they would be concerned that there's cancer then in the, in the lymph node. And and what do they do for the arm, under the arm, if there is? Do they get it out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Um, it'd be all part of the same surgery. So when they would take the cancer out, then they would also take out whatever cancer is in your arm. Um. If they find something there, where it's at, do I have to get my breath removed? No, this is small. Okay. <laughs> so, and okay. It's, so it's, and I guess I shouldn't just say no off the bat, but if, if you don't want your breast removed, then this is very small. When they you meet with the surgeon, me. yeah, they mm -hmm. could just take it out. They could take out the mask. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that's up to you, especially because this is so small. This yeah. is really small. So, okay. so the biopsy's being done because we're looking for a cancer mm -hmm. or something that's at risk for turning into cancer. So if I have babies and this is not cancerous, mm -hmm. will it be okay to yeah. breastfeed mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah, okay. it'll be totally okay to breastfeed. In fact, sometimes after breastfeeding, things like, you know, some of these benign masses go away too. So. Okay. If you can compare the size do you to something, would you be able to tell me that? Yeah. Um, okay, so it is, we could compare it to your, your pinky, like your, the width of your pinky. Oh, mm -hmm. it's small. Mm -hmm. Okay. The width of your pinky is approximately one centimeter. Mm -hmm. This mass is 1.2 centimeters, so just a little, a little bit, bit larger. Bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's small. That's at the largest dimension. The other ones are even smaller, like half a centimeter, or just a little over half a centimeter, so it's small so there is like a little like a not a cluster but <clears throat> is there just one yeah, just one. okay mm -hmm. oh the other dimensions i'm sorry i explained i didn't explain that well but the other dimensions of the mass so it's oh it's okay Good. smaller than maybe about the size of a pea something like that but a flatter pea okay, <laughs> okay. gotcha yeah <laughs> to help it sort of short i think so do you have a minute to see the pictures do you want to look at the imaging yeah okay and so this is it right here. Okay. Okay. This is looking at it in a different direction. So here you can see it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of flat, like kind of like I was saying, sort of like a smushed pea. Okay. Well, y'all, y'all heard everything. Um, I did get to see pictures of my ultrasound. I'm not sure if I'm going to include that part just yet because that is a little personal. Um, but if I decide to, y'all will have seen it already or I put it across the screen, I'm not sure, but I'm about to put my clothes back on so I can get ready to go. Y'all heard her say that she found another little spot that she wants them to ultrasound on the 22nd before I get my biopsy. Um, the spot doesn't hurt the other spot, but the original spot is a little tender, so <sighs> hoping for the best, y'all. She was so nice. I really wish that she could be a family doctor or like my primary care physician because I don't have one. So, um, and I hate when they say no. Anyways, y'all, I'm my clothes on so I get out this room and I'll talk to y'all later.